When it comes time to measuring for a float, what you want to do, if you've got an already stretched canvas, you don't know if it's square and you don't know if the edge is bowed in during stretching. So you want to make sure you measure it three times horizontally, top and bottom and middle, three times vertically, side, center, and side. And then in addition, measure it diagonally both ways. And what the diagonal measurement is accommodating or accounting for is if the canvas isn't in square. And if you've got a canvas that is a little bit um, trapezoidal and you put it into a float frame, you want to maybe give it a little extra space. And the closer it gets in, the more that that difference of the trapezoidal canvas compared to the perfectly square float frame is going to be exaggerated. So you want to make sure to give it proper space so it looks its best. And um, if you're measuring something like this as a painting on a hard masonite surface, then it's pretty much you can just measure once across here, once here, once here, and here. You don't really have to do the diagonal measurement, but you could. And because this is so thin compared to the depth of a stretched piece, what I would uh, encourage is to add a strainer stock or a stretcher bar behind it. And what that will do is to bring the painting level with the front of the frame around it. Otherwise, what will happen here is that your canvas is really recessed into the float. And that may be an okay look that you don't mind and maybe in some cases actually want. But by having it level, it's more the traditional way that people expect to see a float frame done.